I just had a conversation with Vladimir Putin, actually an online chat with him. And I'll just give you the overview of it. I said, is that you, Vladimir? I noticed he was getting onto my computer. It is I, sexual lover. Have you seen my praise for the Russian film War and Peace at my YouTube comments under all videos about Ludmila? Under all my videos about Ludmila? He said, yes, it make me pride in my nation and wife. He considers me his wife. It's probably my very favorite movie. It is so deep. Um, I said, Ludmila needs to read this great book. That's War and Peace by Leo Tolstoy to learn how to be an attractive, overweight woman like the Natasha wife to Pierre. Yes, I agree. That po position of fat can be beautiful inside. They sometimes say there is more cushion for pushing inside the fat. And there is also more fat in a person to love. Vladimir is very direct. How are things going with thin privilege, Vladimir? Have you found Ludmila? Ludmila is a thin privilege terrorist. And she, like I said, she's guilty of the death, death of thousands at the Boston Mar Marathon. He said they're still on the loose and still very fat chicks. I update church censor array to help find fat bitch. The problem with such technology is that it is, we are detecting hippopotamuses and whales as false positives. I said, oh dear, Vladimir, those Jesuits are playing tricks on you. I think Zack Knight is behind this confusion. He said, yes, it has to be a genius who can make women become so fat. This type of fat is not from Jesus. He never intended for human beings to exceed 500 pounds, not even 300 it's so illogical. And I said, yes, these women are mentally ill. It's incredible that they would get so obese. And even worse, that they would kill people because of it. Have the, they, they call themselves thin privilege. I, I asked Vladimir, have the thin privilege women killed any more people? He said, there are several reports that some have suffocated men with vagina fat while making sex, but he thinks these are lies. We all know full well that fat women could not attract men for sexual intercourse unless, I said, unless the men are drug raped or transported to Sarah Avery's compound against their will. Sarah Avery's the name of one of the obese women that belonged to Thin Privilege, the Thin Privilege terrorist group. He said, Vladimir said, yes, this is only logical explanation. I said, has Ludmila said anything about my latest videos about her? Yeah, she says she hates you for being such skinny bitch and that she is offended that you still say that a fat person is attractive only if they have a good personality. She says that it is thin privilege that you never that I would never say that a thin man is tra attractive even in spite of his athletic build. So I told Vladimir, I think you're trying to say that she thinks I'm lying about finding a good obese man attractive. No, she is saying your comment exposes your bias against fat people. That you only find a fat man attractive when he displays a strong, good personality. And that you believe his fat is an obstacle that needs to be overcome by his other good characteristics. I told Vladimir, it sounds like she's so jealous she can't think straight. Vladimir says he agrees. I said, I believe that all of us have good and bad traits and that we should be attracted to those people who are good in their hearts. Anyways, Ludmila is only about 12 years old and did not grow up in the Soviet Union. In other words, she didn't grow up in the communist country. She's a clone. She was created in Jesuit cloning labs in 2000. So she's only about 12 years old. And so she didn't really have to suffer under communism like Vladimir did. She grew up in a free Russia. So she displays a mature, I told Vladimir, she, she, Vladimir, she displays a maturity of a spoiled woman who has had life given to her on a silver platter. Though I've been raised in a free country, I'm talking about myself, because of my experience with the Jesuits, I think I appreciate freedom and goodness more than her. She is so immature, you cannot reason with her. She will find an excuse for her evil and her terrorism because she has no desire to be good. She's a spoiled brat killer, only 12 years old, and was not raised in the Soviet Union or a communist country, so she cannot understand you, Vladimir. She is such an ingrate. She does not understand how important it is for Russia and the world 
that Vladimir must have a wife who cherishes a strong and free Russia. She is so shallow, I told Vladimir, I don't know what to say. Vladimir says, true that. I asked Vladimir, have you been able to enforce my laws in Russia to have her arrested if she is found in Russia? And how many nations are cooperating with us to find and arrest these thin, privileged terrorist women? We can't use conspiracy laws, so I borrowed some American anti-terrorism law that Bush used. Uh, Vladimir said, many countries are on our side for this. I said, that's wonderful. Can you give me a list of them? I want to publish those nations that support us at my website. Even if it's only a partial list, I want to show my appreciation. Vladimir said he would need to reference the list, but it's the standard Gale-supporting nations like Russia, North Korea, etc., all Gale fans. Yeah, North Korea has been one of my fans for a long time. You can't actually believe all the stuff you're hearing about them on the news. American news is very biased. Pro-Jesuit bias. I said, I take it that Ludmila will never return to your house because she knows you will arrest her, so she's on the run? He said, yes, the divorce... Um, he said it had to happen. There's no reason for to have her inside the emperor's home. Yeah, Vladimir is the Russian emperor. I will throw the fat ass into the prison if she enters. I said, you divorced her because of her involvement with the Boston Marathon bombings, right? He said, yes, I wanted to before, and now I have a good reason. Uh, before, I, he said, I just did it to have good PR between, you know, the U.S. and Russia to prevent a war, you know, because Bush threatened war with Russia if Vladimir wouldn't pretend like or wouldn't, you know, treat Ludmila like his wife. He said she was also too fat, so I wanted to stop paying for her food. Is George W. Bush still hiding her from you, Vladimir? He said, I spoke to George and he says that it's true that everything in Texas is big, but sometimes it can go too far. He said that when a woman becomes this fat, she cannot be treated like a human being. So he, so Bush has abandoned his compliance with Jesuit blackmails and threats, he said. I asked Vladimir, I hear that Ludmila farted on Bush and put him in the hospital. How did her, did her fart do that? Vladimir said, a fat woman's fart is very dangerous, especially when it's, when they're that fat, when they're like three to 500 pounds or more, it becomes like a weapon. He said, this is why I'm speaking to George Bush about passing a law against fat chicks passing gas. I said, why don't you speak to Obama? You know, because he's the acting president. He said, it's because Obama is a copy made by Jesus. Because uh, President Obama actually died about a year ago. And he's, he's an automaton. An Obama automaton is the one who's acting president right now. So, so it's, he said, so I, speak to, so I spoke to George first. He was the one that visited the hospital for weaponized fart to face. I'm not sure what Vladimir meant by that. I said, which hospital did he visit, Vladimir? He said, the hospital that, that's, that's equipped to handle fart injuries of this magnitude. This is why we must pass this law. He said, so you think Bush should work with Obama to pass this law because he's had firsthand experience with the problem? Who's the real acting head of state in the United States? Technically, Obama, I do have control override if need to, but this is unusual as he operates exactly like the real Obama. I respect, in other words, Vladimir says he respects Obama, the uh, Obama automaton, because he's just as good as the real Obama. And I said, yes, Obama has been great. I think only one time he was bad, and that was his first day in office. So you, so can't you use Obama to pass this law against obese women farting and you know very fat women felt farting he said i will speak with him today would you like to tell your followers what you heard about george bush from he said brain to brain and to gain support for the anti-fart fat law anti-fat fart law let me tell you what happened um president bush had it out with ludmila while he was hiding her the reason he hid ludmila is because she threatened to harm his wife laura bush and he, he told Ludmila, you really do need to lose some weight. And that, that made her so mad, she farted in his face. And that fart caught on fire. It, it apparently was such a powerful blast. It actually broke some of his bones. And it also had the effect of nerve gas. Let me continue reading what Vladimir said. I said, 
I said, could I not just tell them what Ludmila did to him? So she farted on him, and exactly how did it injure him? Did it make him fall and break his bones? Did it catch fire? What happened that he ended up in the hospital? He said, Vladimir said, all of the above plus the nerve gas effect. Such strong smell affects the nervous system, making the person who smells, inhales the fart into a mild retard, kind of like a nerve gas. I said, how is George doing now? Uh, Vladimir said he was speaking like a retard last time I talked to him, so very little change. So he's actually gotten some brain damage from the fart. I said, oh dear, Brent told me he's not too smart to begin with, so does this mean his intelligence is so low you can't use him to help you with passing this law? He said, not at all. Almost all the lawmakers in the United States are, are like retards. I said, I'm afraid you're right. This country's an insane asylum run by the inmates. Oh, and, I, and then I told Vladimir what I heard. I heard about what Ludmila did to George Bush, not through brain to brain, but through Skype with Terrence. And then he says, oh, my mistake. I said, I don't trust brain to brain. Zach Knight always tries to speak to me brain to brain, and he impersonates Brent Spiner, King David, Jesus Christ, and just about everybody. And Vladimir says, oh, I forget the time. I am late for meeting with my black president friend, Obama. He says, I will come back shortly. We will propose law against fat, fat chick farts. I said, good. You do such a good job. Tell Obama he is great. He said, I will do this. Also, feel free to tell your supporters what happened to George Bush and how this makes him uh, more of a retard, makes him re like retarded. Like all lawmakers, like all lawmakers, Vladimir said, all U.S. lawmakers. He doesn't have much respect for U.S. lawmakers. We must pass this new law against fat chick fart. Okay, Vladimir, let me get something to eat and then I'll work on the video. This is a serious problem. These fat chicks and this thin privileged group are killers. And Vladimir says, yeah, big problems that fat chicks make. Oh, okay, I must go. Bye, you better go. Apologize to Obama that I held you up. Yes, bye, my sexual queen of... <laughs> I'm... He dreams about me all the time. And I, I help him feel manly, too. So what he said is private between me and him, so I'm not going to go there. He said, bye, my awesome president. You are the best head of state in the world. Okay. Uh, people, we do need to pass some laws. I know this seems hard to believe, but when a woman weighs three to 500 pounds or more and she farts, the fart is deadly. It was a fart. Ludmila Putin went inside that West Texas fertilizer plant she let out a fart, and the fart caught on fire, and then it caused that. And that's what caused that explosion in the West Texas fertilizer plant. And that's an example of how dangerous an obese woman's farts are. And we do need to pass laws to make it against the law for a woman who is that obese to let out a fart. Apparently, they can control this to some extent. And we're going to have to do something because they use it as a weapon, and it's a, it kills.